Let's do shadows on inclines. We've done shadows on horizontal surfaces, shadows on vertical surfaces. Now let's do shadows on inclined surfaces. <clears throat> this first one is pretty intuitive. We have, um, this is a, a one point perspective incline and that like these two lines, they don't, they're not going to vanishing points. They're just truly parallel with each other. So this is this, this whole surface is parallel to the picture plane. So the shadow of this does make pretty much kind of what you would expect it to do. This, this is again, we're still doing the uh, parallel light where the light source is 90 degrees from where the viewer is looking. So I'm making the light source to the left of the viewer. And so the shadows go just parallel with uh, the horizon line. And they're gonna go along the floor like this. And then when they hit this wall, they're gonna do exactly what you think they're going to do. It's pretty intuitive. It is just going to go straight up this wall, well, at the angle that the wall is. So I just made this like a, a 60 degree angle. <clears throat> so the shadow is also at a 60 degree angle. It's parallel with the sides of these. And it just keeps going up that surface until the light angle comes along and I'm just making up a light angle and the light angle just tells you where it ends like that. So easy. So the thing with the inclines are kind of like this one we did in the last video. Um, or did this shadow of a horizontal line and a vertical surface and we did it by f having two endpoints and just connecting them that this one is not that intuitive it uh, most will like take the light angle and make the shadow of that the light angle the shadow of this pole the light angle and which kind of feels correct but it's not necessarily that it could be but it would just be a coincidence that it would be the same as the light angle. Like here's another sample, a little different angle. You'd say it's it's kind of kind of close to this, but it's really like finding a point and having another point you connect the two to get the angle. So that's what you have to do here. This is a two point perspective incline. See this these go to vanishing points. Those auxiliary vanishing points we talked about. Um, many videos ago. So here's um, the shadow of this stick going along the floor. And then when it hits this, the intuitive thing to do is just make do like we did the last one. We just take this and we make it go like to the same vanishing point as these go to. And you could kind of trick yourself into thinking that it looks okay that way but looks like it's kind of leaning to the left to me. Like that, that it can't do, can't do that. I think it, the shadow kind of feels to me like it should be kind of little, like going over to the right a little bit more. So here's the, the trick with these shadows. Sometimes you have to put walls there that don't exist. Like when we did this one, we did that this way, just extended this wall out and then just connected those two. Sometimes you have to remove things that do exist. So to get this one, probably the easiest way to do this would be to just remove this incline. Make this into a wall. So here's, if this incline wasn't here, then the shadow would go along the floor and hit this wall. <clears throat> then when this is wall, since these two are parallel with each other, the wall and the stick, then the shadow would have to come straight up the wall like that. And then here is an endpoint, and here is an endpoint. And you take those two and you connect them. Ah, looks better. And it would just keep going until the light angle comes along and tells you where the end of the shadow is. See, this one is kind of similar. 
but I mean, it is just going to go parallel to this, so you don't need to find two endpoints. But you could, I mean, like, just to show you how this is consistent with the other one, if we made this into a wall, and then the shadow goes along the floor and hits this, and then heads up the side, and then you have the endpoint. You have an endpoint, you have an endpoint, and you connect them, but it's just going to give you the same answer as the incline is, because it is in one point perspective. But two point per sec perspective, this is not going to be at the same angle as the slope is. So that's um, shadows on inclines. I think we'll do uh, shadows on curved surfaces next, and then we'll um, get rid of this, this parallel light and we'll talk about whether the sun in front and behind the viewer.